Ever want to use stack stones in your projects? Maybe you want to do a feature wall, do a bar, do anything like that. You probably have looked into seeing how much they cost and I can tell you they're not cheap. But today I'm going to show you how to make your very own for a fraction of the cost and in just one hour. The goal here is pretty simple. All you need is a bag of cement, some mold, and you're ready to go. Besides the normal essentials you need for working with concrete, you definitely want to use some kind of dust mask and some gloves. To get started, I emptied out a bag of cement mix into a five gallon bucket. After pouring it in a bucket, this was a lot higher than I expected. So to play it safe, I'm gonna switch to a taller bucket. As you can see, the dust floating in the air is the reason why you need to have a mask on. So to be clear, just about any cement can work for this, but in order to make these forms at a rapid pace, I'm gonna use rapid set mix. In just one hour, this will be a finished product. From my experience, if you don't move quickly, you run the risk of your mix setting up fast. For this mix, I'll need to slow things down a bit so I have enough time to experiment with adding color. To slow things down, I'll need to add a set control to the mix. To make sure this is properly mixed, you'll want to add a set control to your water. Since I'm mixing the entire bag, I'll need to use 5 quarts of water, which is what I have here. After pouring the water into the mix, I need to use a strong drill, set the speed to low, and then mix. This mix requires 5 quarts of water per bag. After thoroughly mixing this, the consistency is like fluid. In this case, that's a great thing because I definitely need that to get into the corners and also into all the fine details. I use the first pour as a way to get a feel for the process. If it's possible, you always want to try to get the right tools for the job. Now you'll want to get the back as flat as possible so if you have to, take some scrap pieces of wood and screed off the back. Another thing you could do here is to vibrate the form and that will allow the air bubbles to come to the top. So now I'll set these off to the side and then we'll take on the second pour. For that I added a charcoal cement color right to the mix. After mixing the second batch, I then poured that into the forms and then it was on to the third and final. I added more color to the existing mix with the hopes that I can get it a shade darker. But by the time I got to this pour, I can tell the set control was starting to wear off and the mix is starting to get a bit thicker. With all the chemicals inside rapid set mix, this tends to get pretty hot during the curing process. So it's a good idea to keep things wet and moist at least for the first 30 to 40 minutes. With all the details and tight fit, the molds still remove pretty easily. After popping a few, I started getting the hang of it. It seems as if you grab the sides and twist it, the mold release a whole lot quicker. I had some kind of idea on what this was going to look like when I unmolded it, but to actually see it, it's really awesome. I love the details that took shape from the mold itself and I'm super excited about the possibilities. And this is how you can produce your own stack stones at home. After doing this as a test, I now know what to expect from these forms and the ideas are just flowing in my head about what I can do with these. The next thing for me to do is play with different colors and take notes. If you'd like more information on this, be sure to stop by DIYcreators.com or check out the link down in the video description.